In this video, I'll show you how to make a button posting effect in Webflow. So you can see from this example website, everteam.com.au, the main call to action is request a free quote as seen in this button right here. And you can see how the button is slightly pulsing back and forth. So this is what we'll be creating. Uh, let me just show you a couple of other examples. So in this website here, it, it just so happens to be my website, derekzu.com.au. You can see my call to action here was view my works. And you can see we have the exact same button pulsing effect right here. And lastly, in this example website of bondilines.com, we can see the call to action is what's on in Sydney as highlighted by the blue button. But on top of this, you can see that really subtle pulse animation going back and forth. So let's jump into Webflow and I'll show you how this is done. All right, guys, so I'm actually in the Webflow and what you want to do is you want to add a button. So in order to do this, you just want to hit the plus icon right here, add elements. And where you see button, you just want to drag that into the canvas. Uh, another way to do this is you can actually just click command enter, sorry, command E, um, and then you can type in button and you can hit button like so. Or if you're on a Windows, you want to go control E instead of command E. Uh, that's how you add a button. So let me just align this button to the middle. So I have a div block in section and inside section we have this button and I just put section as flex. Now in the button, we'll just give it a class called CTA button. And we will just style this just really, really fast. So maybe I'll change the font to 16 pixels and I'll just add a bit more padding uh, at the top and bottom as well as the sides. And of course, we'll rename this to click me, please. So like so, and why not? We'll put a smiley face as well. And now with the button, you can keep styling it. Usually I like to put a bit of radius in my button, but of course that depends on your design. Uh, in this case, I'll put a radius of eight pixels just to slightly curve everything. And now we're ready to animate the button. But before we do that, let's put a hover state. So you just wanna go into the right-hand side under selector and just hit hover. And then now we'll be able to change the color. So let's just change it to a darker blue just to show that it has been hovered over. And on top of this, we can go back to the CTA button. We can scroll all the way down to where it says transitions, hit the plus button. And where it says opacity, you wanna scroll down to all properties. And typically I change this from 200 milliseconds to 350. That way, when we actually preview this by clicking the eye view at the top, you can see when my mouse is over the button, it then has that transition of that color in a 350 millisecond um, transition time rather than just instantaneous. So now we've done that, let's go ahead and make the hover effect. Uh, the best way to do this is just head over to the interactions right here, click a new page trigger on page load. So this will start the animation on page load. Uh, and now we want to add a new action, start animation, hit plus, uh, give it a name. In this case, I'll call it uh, button pulse. So like so. And now in the button pulse, I'll give it an action by clicking this button here. I'll hit scale. And usually I just put this to a 0.94, hit enter. You can see that's already shrunk the button. And you can have a play around with this, of course, but I'm just showing you how to do the concept. Now that's done, you wanna make another end one and hit scale. And you wanna add this, usually I put this as like 1.04. Again, you can have a play around with all the, the values. Um, and typically the first one, I leave it to something like 0 0.7 and the second one to 1 1.2. And then I select both of them and I give it some sort of easing animation by clicking this button here. And usually I put this to out court and now you'll be able to click the play button and you'll be able to see that pulsing effect happening. And now you wanna click save and you can actually hit preview like so, uh, but you'll notice that the animation just plays once. So if I actually preview this, it all works, but it only happens one time. So in order to loop this, all you have to do is just tick the button loop and that is it. Now, if you preview the work, you can see that the button is pulsing. So that's how you make a pulsing button in Webflow. Let me know how you go. And of course you can change the values of how fast it pulses, how big the button gets, but hopefully you have found this helpful.